Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we are continuing to check out all of the new decks in Journey to Ungaro, and today's deck is the Evolve Shaman. This deck is a ton of fun and not too, too expensive to craft except for a couple of epics in here, um, so I do recommend it for people who are looking to get into Ungaro. Um, it's a pretty fun deck, it mostly relies around playing smaller mana cost creatures and then evolving them, which transforms them into a random minion with a one higher mana cost. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I think it'll be cool to check out. Let's go ahead and jump in and see how it does. Roll versus roll. For Doomhammer. For the Frost Wolves. Interesting. A fellow shaman. This could be a mirror matchup. Let's hope not. Um, I will dump the hex, keep the mana tied. And this is not the best hand ever, but it could be worse. No one mana, which is kind of a bummer. Greetings. Friend. All right, fingers and toes crossed that this is not a mirror matchup, because I really, <laughs> you guys know how I feel about those. Please be playing what's it called, uh, Elemental Shaman. It'll make me so happy. So I'm thinking turn two, we will Totem, turn three, we'll probably Stonehill Defender um, for the value, and then we'll see what we draw. Hopefully by turn four we have some more options. This guy coined into Totem, always interesting. Haha, -ha, I think we won on the Totem Lottery there. I think he's trying to get a bearing on us before he starts here, but we're doing the same. <laughs> um, wow, dual totemic call, interesting. I would love a maelstrom portal here. Nope, flame tongue though, that's not bad. Let's flame tongue to knock out his, uh, well, do we flame tongue to knock out his uh, wrath of air? That'd probably be smart. Let's do that. I, I mean, I was tempted to Stonehill because it's a little more efficient mana-wise, but I have a feeling, knowing shamans, uh, that I would regret leaving that I up. I love omelets. Interesting. I think this guy is playing the same deck as me, but a different uh, style of it. Okay, so now we have some more options here. We've got a Flame Tongue again, which is a little extreme. We could Thing from Below, which is probably the strongest play this turn. Um, I think I'm going to Thing from Below, take out his other totem. Um, just because it's going to be a little difficult for him to remove the thing from below, and I'm not going to be the one to pop this egg napper. Oh, I guess it won't be that difficult for him, but it's for it. God, I love the Maelstrom portal. Ho ho! You guys, it finally happened! Holy shit. Fuck. I was so ready for that. Alright, let's do that, and then we will also Stone Hill Defender here. And I would like... Hmm... Sunwalker, please. Go ahead and ding this guy. Sunwalker is a solid one because not only does it have... It's one of my favorite taunt cards. I mean, Taunt Divine Shield 4-5 is solid as hell. But also, we can evolve this, and it'll be a random 7 mana cost minion, which is pretty good odds of being something great. Ideally, we can evolve it after it's taken a hit or two. Damn. Wish I had that uh, Maelstrom Portal now. What a pain in my ass. Ha! This poor guy. <laughs> um, let's see. So we have we're gonna have four left after that. We'd probably just totem here. No, nah, I'd probably be better to mana tide. Um, although we could just totem. Oh no, but we already have a wrath of air, so we don't even need to. So yeah, let's just maelstrom portal. Poor bastard. And uh, do we want a jade lightning for another minion? No, we want a flame tongue totem here. You win. <laughs> And there's our first win with <laughs> the Evolve Shaman deck. Um, so yeah, we uh, controlled that guy down pretty firmly. I don't know if it was the best demo of the deck ever, but um, you can always tune in tomorrow for our follow-up episode. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.